to uh, Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny. Uh, this is my very first time playing this. I've got my uh, quick access card here, uh, quick reference card. I can look at and see what's going on. In terms of the commands, I think I'm supposed to use the numpad to walk around. Whoops. Um, I've already messed up. I, I think I let's just let's just reset. <clears throat> I clicked too quickly. Okay. Create new character. Bodovka. It's from Boston. Uncle the innkeeper, decline. Yeah, I'm gonna go with B. I can't give up my uh, my sacred duties. Hey, Barkbit. This is uh, Hasifa. This is Ultima Five. That's a tricky one, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to break, break that. Oof. I'm going straight on Paladin with this. Oh yeah, I will. I will show compassion. This compassion that caused Bilbo's heart to yield. No, it just stopped working, Hasifa. I don't know why. I'm gonna go with B. Lord mistakenly believes he slew a dragon. Yeah, I'll go with B on there. Hmm. That's a tricky one. I'm gonna go with B. So it looks like I got three people in my party. Okay. Um. Uh, I, I, well, no, I don't wish to leave. 
Um, I haven't played uh, any of the other Baldur's Gate games before uh, Hasifa. I don't know that I've ever really played a role-playing game on a computer before this very instant. I've always been a console role-playing type guy. Okay, you can pick crops. That's cool. The music restarts every time you pick a crop. I'm not sure why that is. Um... So looking for a inventory. I is ignite, so I don't want that. Hmm. Maybe escape. No. Nope. Um. Let's ignite torch. Yeah, that's great. Hmm. Surely there's a way to look at your inventory here. Oh, it's... No, nothing going on there. Are you interested in that, uh, Chris? In the new Baldur's Gate? LZ for stats. Thank you. I didn't really tell me much though. Oh, I see. So Awesome. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> All right, let's try looking at this thing. Oh, okay. There is some mouse. You can use the mouse, I guess, to traverse. Though that seems foolish. Um, no effect. All right. Hey, Wing Chun, how's it going? Wow. Well, uh, Wing Chun, you can be of uh, definite assistance to me in this case, as I've just started. <clears throat> and uh, I've left my dwelling, but I don't know where to go, and it seems like all my paths are blocked. Thank you, Chris. I don't see anything. Maybe that's 
Let's try this thing. Okay. Open barrel. All right, open it. Nope. I figured I'd supposed to be uh, heading south. Oh, okay. Boy, this is a. Uh... Uh oh, monster! Let's get out of here. It's hard to say, Leif. Uh, very early days here. Uh, I'm just a couple minutes in for my first playthrough. I've got to say, I'm not real impressed with the animation of your main character. Um, you know, they should have put in some sort of, uh, you know, something other than just having your guy motionless here. Hey, Daz. How's it going, man? There's a jester. Talk to him. Oh, I don't know how you're supposed to respond to that. Nobody's here. What year did this come out? Anybody remember? Name or job. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go back down here and try this again. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the uh, how the skins do with Ron at the helm next year. Okay. So I mean, compared to um, you know other role-playing games of the time on the computer, I'm sure this was awesome. But uh, you know, <clears throat> by 1990. Pretty sure uh, Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest IV had already come out. And I guarantee you that that game is uh, just as deep as this game and uh, does not feature a static, motionless character, uh, you know, in the center of the screen. But maybe this game has hidden depths. Yeah, I totally get it, Wing Chun. It's like, this is like a series that grows up with you. And it does, I mean, not with this game especially. Um, because uh, you can actually import your character from Ultima 4 into here. Yeah, um, yeah, I just, I wish that they, you know, <clears throat> I think that, um, one of the things, and I'll talk about this on the show, so I'm going to repeat myself, I'm sure, several times, but one of the things 
that later role-playing games really made better. Let's see. It's a climb is K. Is the whole contact sensitive, you know, like you, you don't need a command for everything. You just go up to something and you hit the button and it knows what you want. But I mean, for 88, if this game originally came out in 88, I mean, I, I'm willing to forgive. It looks like everything except for the main guy looks fine. I haven't played any of those, Daz. Uh, I guess this is the king. Or the lord. Alright, Hasifa, is there a, um... Is there a... Like, something that I should do when I'm talking to this guy? Like, I just don't know what, what I'm supposed to type to get information. Rumor? Okay. No. Oh, maybe I spelled it wrong. Maybe they're going with the British spelling. No. Thanks for the host, Picard. Yeah, I tried Quest. Hmm. Maybe, um... <laughs> Name and job, a lot. That's awesome, Wing Chun. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to attack this lord. I'm guessing that, that that would end to a rapid death on my part. As his men would rush to his defense. Oh, it's locked. Okay. I'm not sure, like... I know that every Ultima game is like this, but is there an actual reason why you need to have all of your actions logged? I mean, is there a way that you can go back through and somehow learn from that? Like, what is the advantage to having, you know, this list of, of commands just constantly running? I could see if it was like a scrolling menu and um, you could scroll up and down it to see, you know, stuff, but you really, it's just like five or six lines. And it, why do I have to pick a character to, uh, to search with? Like, I, I get it in theory, but especially like direction wise, it just seems. But I guess at this point, there really wasn't a whole lot of other, you know, Ultima pretty much wrote the book on this kind of game. So. Oh, okay. That makes sense, Chris. I'll buy it. Oh, I don't want to use. And what the heck is this stuff? Like 14 somethings? Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Uh, this, this is probably not going to be the most exciting stream that's ever happened in the history of the world. But this is what the Amigos Game Selection Committee mem uh, <laughs> membership tasked us with playing in a couple weeks, and I got to get on the ball. Man. Oh, it's locked. 
Yeah, do you think that would open up my... I do have a torch, I think. Yeah, there we go. That helps some. Nothing in there. Yeah, the committee's good at that. They know our weaknesses and they exploit them. All right, I really just want to leave this place. Let's try some combat. I approach this like, <clears throat> hey, you know, I, I just I, I I want to approach it like a Final Fantasy game, where you um, you know you want to search around the castle because there's probably going to be some open rooms with some loot, and you want to get that. I'm lost in this castle now, though. The king's gone. Oh, this is. I thought that was how I came in. Maybe I came in. I guess I came in through here. Yeah, it really is a game of its time. You know, oh, there's a guy sleeping there. What's up? Okay. Um, <clears throat> to have this, you know, living world that, I, you know, I was reading that this is the first game that, uh, the first ultimate that has a day-night cycle. And, uh, like, you really does make you believe that you're, like, in this fully inhabited world, which is cool. Oh my gosh. Watch the descriptions for clues on things to ask about. Okay. So I've got a certain look, look at a person. And then ask him something based on what, what he is or like what he's wearing or whatever. Okay. We're getting out of this castle. Let's go fight some baddies. What's up? Okay. Shamino's already dead. No Shamino. I can't believe Shamino's already dead. How do I see my... No. All right, I got nothing to do. Can I retreat? I know that I was watching a, a YouTube series on Ultima, and I guess this is really one of the first games that, um, maybe we just need to get out of here, that really did like the good and evil choice thing. Um, and according to fans of the game, they, uh, it's much deeper than like in Mass Effect or something like that. Oh man, big rat guy? No. Let's let him, okay, well, maybe I can take these guys. 
I can't believe Shimino's already gone. I missed him already. Oh, Olo's poison. Hey, Pix. How's it going, man? Oh, man. My first victory. Okay, so now what? Do we get the uh, the spoils? Do you remember how to do this part, Wing Chun? Maybe there's just nothing, just some rats. I don't get any GP out of that. Oh man, Pix, you're warming up for the Patreon song is what you're doing. I don't even know what Twitch Sings is. Is it like a karaoke on Twitch? Because I'm down with the clown on that. So why could they not just start you off in a town with some gold and then you have to like buy some equipment? Ooh, that's freaky. Well, I don't know what that did. Did it say anything in the status there? I didn't look last time. Oh, that's all right. I never had the kind of uh, attach to, attachment to uh, YOLO that I did to Shimino. Shimino's death was the only one that really hurt me. All right, enter. So this is a role-playing game, so I should be able to um, uh, go to like a church or something and revive my fallen comrades, right? Dun, 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 dun. Hey, here's a great thing. Now that all my other guys are dead, I don't have to go through an extra menu to search. How do I make it daytime? What's up? Be gone, vermin. Uh, okay, well I can't because you're blocking my way. Sure. Oh man, guillotines. Dark Lord, what's up Dark Lord? Oh man, I'm fighting the Shadow Lord. It's the end of the game. It's the last battle. Harder than it looks. I, I say that. I say that often. And I'm back. Chimino's back, too. <sighs> yeah, 
it, here, here's another thing. Like, okay, so I go into my um, my status here. Okay. And I've got these. I've got my arms, my chain coif, my chain, my long sword, my onk, and um, but like I don't have a way to access the statistics on these things. So it's like if I do make it to a um, shop, how do I know if I'm upgrading my equipment or not? I don't have any magic, so that's probably for the best. Okay, let's look at my other guys here. Shimino. He's a fighter also. Leatherhelm. Okay. And Lolo. Iolo. He's a bard. Useless. He's got reagents. Oh, I see. I've got the quick reference card pulled up here. Hasifa, so... Um, I forgot that this stuff isn't just baked into the game. Now, I don't know anything about these spells. Is that something that the quick reference card will help me with? Yeah, it is. So I basically got a bunch of first circle spells, and I guess that's the number of uses I can have. And then the reagents, I guess, are the things that can make the spells. Oh yeah, I just saw that <laughs> Wing Chun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I'm done with the status. Oops, what, what? I just wish I had some idea of, of where to go and what to do. Man, I really don't want to start walking around another castle. It would also be nice to know, like, what floor I'm on. Something. Okay, I guess I'm maybe in the middle of a castle. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know what you're saying, but it's like, let's try talking to this guy, you know? Yeah, I, I've got no problem with open world games, but, you know, even the most, oops. Okay, so let's go, let's or buy, then look. Okay. Talk. Entertain. Oh yeah. Type in current state of the world. Um, all right, we're done. Okay. Like, I want to explore this castle, but I also don't want to get lost in it. Oops. And it's locked anyway. Yeah, 
And where did this place come from? Why did I respawn here? Why did I not start here at the beginning of the game? Okay, let's see what this place is called. Castle of Lord British. Hey, thanks for the host picks. Okay, so again, like I'm pretty sure I've got to go talk to Lord British and then he's gonna send me off of my quest. Why did I not start the game here or near here? Okay, Wing Chun. I think I just haven't met anybody interesting enough to give me that kind of information. I don't think the gesture is gonna help. Like this guy, no response. But it is neat, I mean, these guys do move around. These guys are in bed, but it's daytime, right? Isn't that the sun up in the sky now? Isn't that what that means? Are they sick? No. You have to rescue Lord British. Oh, okay. locked okay here's some dudes oh this is the guard house okay so these are like guards that are not yet are there what about this guy this guy looks crazy okay do you, does anybody have any idea about how to read the day-night cycle in this game? <laughs> That's, it seems that way, Leif. looks distressingly familiar to the other castle that I visited. Oh, okay. I can only hole up in bed in a... In a Did you play this one, Curtis? Old uh, Ultima 5? And greetings, by the way. Oh. I hit M just in case. It would be nice to have uh, a more varied soundtrack as well. Does this does this song go the whole game, uh, Wing Chun, as far as you can remember? I know there's nobody to talk to. Oh, okay.
Ach. No. So G is your hit points. Maybe I've got to gaze into this ball. Oh, shoot, I keep wanting to do WASD. Oops, I don't want to talk to it. Death vision. Okay. What's Shimino see? Shimino is difficult to target. Okay, so here's our map. Should I use my... Uh... Nope, can't use that to target that. So there is a blue thing there. Maybe, maybe that's where I need to go. The timer at the top represents where the bodies are in the sky. Consider the sides of the time bar as the west and east horizon. West and east horizon. So the sun is setting and the moon is rising. But the sun was like dead high in the sky when those guys were in bed earlier. Also, this doesn't look like anything like the, the blinking thing that I saw earlier. The sun is... Oh, because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Makes sense. At least here in the crazy Ultima world it does. Jeez, this is so not fun. Okay, that's true. They were just hanging out in bed all day. This is the guard house. I've been here before. Okay. Let's hole up. Uh, how about a good uh, 16 hours? Oh, I can't do I can only do one digit holing up. Okay, so the sun is rising. Okay. See, look at this. While there are like four guys, I guess they're on swing shifts in the guardhouse. I just want to. I just want to get out of the castle. Okay, let's climb. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. One more. No, let's climb up.
Okay, so that's the cellar. So this is the ground floor. I'd love to fire up one of those other songs. Is there any sort of keyboard command I can use for that, Pix? Alcabeth is the first Ultima game, isn't it? Um, L. Curtis B? Okay. Now, if I don't get anything out of this room, I don't know what I'm doing. Because you got this guy over here playing the loot, and then you got Mr. High Ho Silver on my left. One of these two guys better have some pertinent information. Oh, okay. Sad. No. Uh, melancholy musician. Okay. So he's melancholy. He's got to be sad about something. Oh, man. That's a good suggestion, Chris. Okay, job. Yeah, thank you. You can't go wrong with job. Okay. And name. Alistair. Okay. He's melancholy. He likes to lift people's spirits through his music. Let's just go and do a two-word deal. Play song. No. Sing. Okay. Any ideas, guys? Bard, okay. Music, got it. Oh, bam, Leif, you're on it. Memories of the good times. Oh man, I was on, I was on a uh, I was on a roll there. I felt like I was doing something just because I was able to elicit a response from a non-player character. Well, I think I just beat the game, guys. Let's pack it in. Okay. Well, so we've established that uh, he's waiting for Lord British to return. So maybe that was his his plan or his you know task in the game. Let's talk to this guy. Okay. Job. Chef. Banquet. It's definitely free form. Okay, let's just start again. <laughs> no. No. You you you've basically just got to um I mean are there even two word commands in the speech or are you basically just like parroting back certain things that they say and then hopefully using that in some way? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. The 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 tale of uh, Richard Garriott's uh, flight into space is is worth reading. Okay. Well, I've tried all the basic ones that I know, and none of them are, are working. Do you? Well, I'm not sure which, like. So if you talk to this jester, oops. Okay, your interest. So we know name, job. What else would you suggest, Tanner? So, I mean, we can go down the rabbit hole. Let's see if this guy knows anything about Lord. <laughs> okay, so I, he's gonna keep doing this until I say yes. That's the joke. British. Okay. We're done. I think the plot is probably... Yeah. The, you've got to read the manual. And, uh, yeah. You can tell that I've done that several times by now. Okay, let's try this town. You know, I think a big reason why I don't, I'm not having a great time with this game is that you have such a limited field of view in addition to um, everything else. It's just like, I wish I could just see more of the world on the screen. All right, well, I just spent 15 gold. Like even, you know, even the, well, again, you know, it's, <sighs> it's gonna have a glance at the last, man, it's just, it's just walls and walls and walls of text. No, Aaron is not a big Ultima guy. Aaron is, is not going to enjoy this at all. I can tell you that right now. He is not a big role-playing computer guy. Uh, he's not a big fan of any game where you have to consult the, uh, the manual. Like, why is there not even, like, why are there not even, like, signs that say, like, here's a shop where you can buy some stuff? Like, we found that tavern. I feel like saying that, Tanner. Okay, here's a, here's a signpost. 
Uh, let's look at it. No, look. Oh, boy, that's that's great. It's weird that there are crosses in a game with no Christianity. a street lamp. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. Okay. So we got the provisioner. Okay, so maybe it's in North Brittany. Oops. Okay, this is my... Is that supposed to be stylized English? Like, it looks like... No, it doesn't. I was going to say, it kind of looks like Britannia, but... Aaron, uh, Aaron said he liked some life. He did say that. Sim life, though, you got to remember that um, sim life had a mode where you could just sort of set things up and watch them go, which was cool. This is where I buy my horse. Ride. No, not ready. I guess I can't ride the horse. Why would I have to... Oh, it's because it's the middle of the night. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that 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 boxing game actually that seemed kind of cool to me. Uh I like the the idea of just like picking moves and seeing how things play out. And we're going to hole up for 8 hours. Yes. Shamino will stand guard. Thank you. Man. There's... Okay. That's kind of neat. All right. What? I rested for eight hours and it's still nighttime? This is the uh, the village, or this is the world of Britannia, which I don't know exactly where that's supposed to be. I guess it could still be nighttime. You're right, Pix. I guess I'll go out and I'll rest for four more hours. I seem to remember that too, Tanner. I'll stay in guard. Hmm. 
Oh, man. Can you not just rest? Like, don't move? Oh, chest, sweet. Oh, he uh when I my whole party was killed, so I wish my guys had more than one movement point. I keep moving my guy off the screen because I don't realize what I'm doing. Oh, he's dead. I have no idea how I can even get to boat of car. Shimino, first to die. Yeah, they don't mess around. All right. So I'm still in combat mode. I'm not sure how I can leave combat mode. Oh, no. I... <sighs> well, so much for getting that loot. I'm sure all all my actually no I don't I don't think that's right. Let's look at my status here. Yeah, I'm level one. Shimino's level one. Olo's level two. Um, I'm sure I can. Uh, if I go to my spells screen, which. Over here at the quick reference card, cast is what I want. Oh, you've got to type in the spell name. Holy cow, this is lame. Okay. And Knox. Okay, and why don't we try Anzu? No, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Cast, Lolo, Anzu, Shimino. Failed. That says Awaken. I didn't know if that was like, um, you know, resurrect. No, resurrect. I guess is an eighth level spell, like like Hasifa says. Yeah, you can't just call it heal. That would be way too easy. Or give or bring up because here's the thing, you can bring up a list of your spells. Um, I can't remember exactly how to do it at this time. Um, oh, right here. So you can bring up a list of your spells. Why could they not just bring up that same list and let you use the arrow keys to choose it? Uh, 
Yeah, you're probably right, Curtis. That's for somebody that's had sleep cast on them. <sighs> All right. Let's check out this other place. Oh, no, I guess we can go back in here now. The whole deal was to wait for morning so I could actually walk around the town. Let's see what's in Candletown. This guy. What's up? You know, I didn't think about this, but this is probably going to put me right in the middle of nighttime. It put me right in the middle of nighttime. That makes sense, Pix. I'm sure that there is something that I can get that will allow me to do that. So Tanner, did you say that there are other um, the 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 fantasy thing game you were talking about? Is that another top-down role-playing game, or is that a first-person style game? I have to check that out. Did you say it was actually it came out before this? We're done with this. We're going to check out Fantasy, Fantasy 3. Just so I have a point of comparison with like top down role playing games. Fantasy 3, The Wrath of Nicodemus. Okay.
Did I get everybody? Okay. Do I have to do one of these for every every? Okay. Okay. Should have enough now. How many people can join the party? Okay, I'll do that. Hmm. Of course Aaron's a Minotaur. Okay. Greetings. Oh, they greeted me. Uh oh, time to let's get these guys. Fight. <laughs> yeah, this is already better than Ultima Five. Look at my look at look at our clan here. We rock. <laughs> then you just continue on your way. I like how you don't have to set anything up. You just sort of let it roll. You got your thrusts. And I didn't care. Oh, man. This does not look good. Greetings. No. Leif's asleep. Wake up. Picks. Come on, guys. This is not going to be good. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I probably should have run away. You're right. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I don't get away. Man, I'm invincible. I'm not invincible. That's true, Pix. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, that's a plus for you, Leif. Sorry, Pix. Come on, Aaron. Undead. I knew it. I knew it. Or I mean Leif, yeah. All right. So uh, Leif and Aaron, still okay. Status okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so this this acts more like a role playing game should act. Okay. We got no gold. Greetings, fellow undead. What? Wait a minute. He's un they're undead. How can they die? All right, we'll go to the tavern. Oh, no, we won't. We'll go to the Easter Island statue. The Dwarven Burial Grounds. Uh-oh. I think I locked up the game because I asked something to save. All right. So, I'm going to show you guys, because I know a lot of you all are not console people what well, was out at the same time as um, Ultima 5 I've already looked for a tutorial video there was there were there was nothing on YouTube nothing there's a lot of like uh, long game or long kind of soliloquies on why Ultima is great, which is fine. All right, so here is what it should be. You set up your you set up your party with the things that you want. Four years later, are you sure about that, Pix? Why don't you take the check the uh, check the release date? Let's see. Right. Oh, for Amber Star. Okay, I thought you were talking about Final Fantasy. Okay. So first of all, you start the game outside a town, okay? You go in the town, you go in the village, you get the whole screen. You wanna to talk to somebody? You don't have to go through a menu, you hit your button. You find out where you are. She's a dancer. Weapon shop, armor shop, black magic shop, white magic shop, actual people roaming around. What? Please save the princess. Plot point? Oh, now you do still have to deal with people moving out of your way when you want to talk to them. Plot point? Looks like I've got to go to the castle to figure out what's going on. There's guards. Will they give me no response? Nope. The king is looking for light warriors. You don't happen to be them, do you? Why, yes, I am. Sounds like I need to go see the king. It's almost like the game is directing me to what to do. All right. 
Now, this game is still completely open. I can still do whatever I want. I can go out and fight bad guys. I can go search around. This game is Final Fantasy, Tanner Mirabelle. I'm gonna go buy some weapons, because I can. <laughs> That's right. You know that console role-playing games are just, they're just all garbage. I mean, how can you compare? Let's see, what do I want? Iron Hammer, wooden... Now, I will say that, okay, first of all, just this is just one little thing, okay? Town music. Outdoor music. King music. Already three different songs. Just within the first 30 seconds of playing. Auto map feature, you say? Let's see. You've got the uh, world map, but that's all that's all they give you. <laughs> You're right. Even though this came out the year before Ultima 5. What's this? Monster encounter music that's different? Of course, I have no um, items equipped. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, when I picture like a top-down role-playing game, you know, like it doesn't have to have all of the elements of a Japanese-style role-playing game, but it doesn't even have to have any of them, but it, I, I've got to have some direction, and I've got to feel like I'm not totally lost in the world from the get-go. And maybe if I would have read the tome that came with this thing, it would have shown some light on it. But I really don't, I don't think so. After glancing through it, it's just a lot of backstory. And so I guess if I had millions and millions of hours to, uh, to walk around and, and discover things, but it seems like there should have been a better way. There should have been a better way. Uh, the intro gives you... No, uh, wait, let's watch the intro again. Maybe I missed something the first time. I haven't even heard of that, Tanner. Oh. <sighs> All right. I think you're looking at it, Tanner. I think, I think ultim well, if you're talking about top down, I don't know if there was anything else out there other than Ultima.
All right, so I, I think we've gone the. Uh, this is the uh, nothing. Nothing big is going going on here. Okay, let's just Ultima Five introduction. Wizardry is a different thing, Curtis. You know, it's a it's a it's more of a dungeon crawler, you know, first person thing. Which, I mean, you can totally make a claim that that's a role-playing game, but just in terms of top-down role-playing games. Those were later on, Tanner. Those were in the 90s. Okay, so I did see this um, this thing. Oh, Samino, the meeting. This is a, well, yeah, I mean, uh, this is my first time playing Ultima 5, so yeah, it's a, it's a blind play. I mean, I've been playing it for about an hour or so now, but I, I haven't really um, gotten anywhere. We're going back to the beginning to uh, see if I missed anything. Uh, Retro Fox. Oh man. Okay, so maybe I should have watched this before we started. At least I'm getting to know Shimino now. Oh yeah, I totally agree, Wing Chun. I mean Ultima set Ultima invented this this whole thing. For sure. And I think Ultima, you know, at some point, maybe seven or eight or something, you know, found its stride again. And that was what led to Ultima Online and all that stuff. Man, there's a lot of text here. All right, the Shadow Lords are bad. Get Lord British back. Yeah, I agree with that, Tanner.
return to the view. Did I miss? Okay, so this is where I started the game. And this is just like a... I didn't see anything where I could change the music. And Tanner, again, you know, like Ultima is is, is not a bad role playing game. It's it's just it's just different, and it's it's you know I don't think Bard's Tale has aged well at all either. You know. Man, look at that two-headed guy. <laughs> Leif, I, we, we need you to sing the Patreon song with your uh, sweet mellow tunes. That would be fantastic. No idea where I'm going. I'd like to know why when you die in this game, you don't respawn at the beginning, you respawn in Britannia's, in Lord British's castle. I'd love to have ranged weapons. In fact, I'd love to be able to know how to find a shop where I could purchase items. Right now, I'd really like to know, okay, so, okay, we made it to the castle, so that's good. Okay, now, I remember finding a merchant in the castle. Um, maybe we should hole up. Okay. Those dudes don't want to talk to me. See? Oops. No response. Okay, so this is the guard area, that's clear. Oh, open. Oh, it's locked. Well, 
when you have to map the castle, it's a sign. It's a sign of something. Okay, so that's where you respawn when you die. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is where you respawn when you die. I agree, Mitsuyama. But mine is not to question whether the game is fun or not. My question, well, actually, I guess it is mine to question that. Okay, I can't go up there. I got arrested last time. Could it be the shops are in the basement? Or maybe... I know this is where I, I met that merchant. I know it is. Okay, we'll get out of here. I'll take the roads. The roads should be safe, safer. What do the winds have to do with things, um, Wing Chun? Oh yeah, I didn't. Oh man, can I make it? We made it. Good point, uh, Tanner. I missed that. This guy right here. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, I remember reading about this or listening to the YouTube guy. He's like, this is like a, um, this guy, he was so good that he became bad and now all of his maxims are um, backed up by deadly threats or something. Hey, shopkeeper. Hey. Good work, Tanner. Give everybody a bow. Never mind, I've got four gold. Okay, so I go to my status. So not status. Hmm. Oh yeah, arrows. Good thinking, Tanner. Except for the fact that I have four gold. I guess I can sell some stuff. have a lot to offer here. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Tanner. everything we need. Okay. Now, um, you have to do something to equip things. Um, 
maybe you for use. Yeah, and E is enter. It's maybe it is through status. And then E. R. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go fight. Jeez. Oh, just, just, just let me go. <laughs> Thanks, Pix. Appreciate it. Okay, night is coming on pretty soon, so we don't want to venture too far. Oh, I've got to equip air. <laughs> Are you, you know, you joke, Leif, but you're probably right. Um, just in case, let's ready the arrows. <laughs> okay, you can't equip the arrows, so we caught a break there. Okay. I do feel like we should hole up for the night here, though. There's a smithy. Oh, I bet he's got a bed upstairs we can use. Oh yeah. That's true, Pix. I've heard that. I've heard that many times when they were like, Dark Souls, I'd rather be playing Ultima 5. I don't think these graphics are that bad, to be honest with you. I think that they're pretty detailed. I think that your character and the way that he moves is ultra lame. But I don't think that uh, the graphics are that bad. For a game from like 80, 87 or 88, whenever this came out. Now, by the time this was released on the Amiga in 90, maybe you've got a point. But this is just a PC port, you know. Oh, we're still in the dead of night here. Okay. Now when I'm armed, all the bad guys run away. Well, technically speaking, Final Fantasy is totally tile-based. They just, they hide it better. Every, every NES game is, 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 is tile-based.
What? How did it get to be dark again already? So soon. I think I still don't understand the... Uh... Now I'm never going to be able to find my way back. Yeah, but I mean, let's let's be honest. Lords of Chaos can get away with looking the way that it does because it's a strategy game at its heart. And I think that people will give strategy games more leeway in terms of graphics than they will role-playing games. At least in my opinion. Yeah, it is it is Wing Chun. I um I've managed to get myself lost here. Am I poisoned? I don't know what's going on. I don't know why is that does that Oh, my whole party's poisoned. I must have gone in a deadly marsh. Yeah. Uh cast and Nox. Cast and and Nox. Oh, cast. Oh, my MP's too low. Well. Shimino might die. Maybe Shimino wasn't poisoned after all. Uh, let's. What is my cure spell here? Uh, cure spell. Or Manny. Okay. So we want. Uh, C, oops. C, uh, M. Okay. Perfect. Now, in battle... Oh yeah, Horn Shadow. Or Honored Shadow, Horn Shadow. Yeah, I have no idea what the G stands for. It's a weird thing. Okay, so I need to figure out how to... Is, is there any way that you can just like be get defensive and not not move forward? Like Shimino, say that I want him to hang back. I guess, but you have to make a move every turn. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Okay, attack. Okay. Olo is not gonna get. Well, really, I see. I don't understand why Shimino. Can I cast so? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Babushka.
Yeah, you're right, Curtis. I'm sure that's right. Well, the, the bow has not been super great for me. Oh, no, I moved the wrong way. Okay. Now, we don't want to mess this up again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can totally see the uh, the strategy in the, in the placement. Uh, that part of things is very strategic. Um... And that sort of thing wouldn't come to Japanese role-playing games until much, much later. Yeah, you're right, Curtis. It does kind of remind me of one also. Um, do we know if uh, maybe L for loot? U? No. Oh. Okay. A sack of gold and a weapon. Sweet. So, get. Three gold. Wow. Okay. Hey, Britt. Thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, you know, you play these games and you just hope for one little glimmer of something that says, yes, I want to come back to this because of something, you know, like maybe, maybe the game's not that good, but maybe the music is good and that makes up for it. There, if I barely escaped with my life fighting those giant rats, I've got no prayer against this two-headed guy. Okay, well, it's only one two-headed guy. <laughs> I heard that you were just making a new category, um, uh, picks. It was just, it was nothing but ultimate games. I need to heal Babushka. Oh, Shamino's poison, thank you. Um. What's the name of the poison spell? And not oh he doesn't have and Nox. What does this guy have? Oh he does have it. Oh his MP too low. It's all Ultima. Welcome to Ultima Amigos. Ultima Amigos. All right. Shamina, you're you're still almost dead. Um Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, what? How did I hit Shimino? Oh man, the potency of my uh, spells is lessening. Well, I I'm a straight shot. I mean, my guy is that guy right there. The guy with the bow is right in front of the monster. You can't cancel out of stuff. Well, I mean, you can. You just lose your turn. But I mean, it's a. I don't know how I hit Shimino. All right, we'll make it a. We'll all just attack him here. No, nope, I didn't. Ah, oh, no, no, everything's going wrong. This guy needs to back up. This guy needs to move up. This guy is an enemy, right? Should I have tried greeting him? Thanks for the, hey, Honored Shadow, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, thank you so much. All right, victory. And we just slowly march off the uh, field of battle here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no loot. Loot is not a given. Man, these guys killed me last time. We gotta get away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not good. Not good. Run away. Need another town. Okay, when I said I need another town, what I meant was not a big dragon. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, Babushka, I hardly knew ye. This is what I get for exploring at nighttime. Doors are locked, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, we got no choice but just hole up here. Nine hour hole up. Set a watch. Shimino, you're on watch. All right, Leif. Thanks for hanging out with us this evening. Have a good night. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's literally every time I do anything, that's what I do. Go for WASD, does not work, go to the numpad.
Sure. Yes. Now I'm in jail. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting lots of good rest. Thrown out of bed. Oh. All right. Can I talk to this guy through the bars? Um... Holy cow. <laughs> well, I think that that's going to do it. For Ultima, uh, I feel like I, I've gotten an idea, a flavor of sort of what's going on, maybe. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, Wing Chun. One of the things that I'd like to know, you know, with with uh, role playing games, especially, you know, and maybe this is with PC too, but especially on the on the consoles, they always would measure them. Like in magazines, they'd say like, you know, Final Fantasy V is a 100-hour game. And I can only imagine Ultimate Games, they just have to be like 1,000-hour games. It's, uh... I do want to take a second, though, and um, take a look at... Let's see if I can load up... Um, The Super Nintendo version of um, Desert Strike. Just to compare it to the... Um, to the Amiga version. Well, it's already better. <laughs> That's definitely the uh, the SNES sound chip. That's true, Barkbit.
Boy, this definitely has more of a backstory than the Amiga version. This part looks the same. This looks... This looks so much better. so much more colorful. And of course, having multiple buttons, it's a big help. I'm using a um, PS4 stick wishbone. Thirteen hydras left. Plenty to do the job. Let's see now. Okay, so this is done like this. Yeah, since we're here, we can go pick up another MIA. You know, one thing this is missing is the sound, the voice samples. Yeah, dead. things about the Amiga version is that you heard the uh, you could actually hear the MIAs calling out to you which is totally unrealistic because you're in a helicopter but that did make things easier let's get the uh, airfield is next Oh, it let us keep our MIA, even though we were... So, loading zone is where? Landing zone, right up the beach.
Yeah, I think the 8-bit div controllers are probably the ones to get, although uh, I really like the... Um, they're called Buffalo... Uh, something Buffalo. And they're cheap. They're only like 15 bucks. They're not wireless. But they work pretty well for me. Oh. The explosions look better on the Amiga. These planes also look better on the Amiga. Uh, really, the only thing that looks better on the Super Nintendo is the terrain and the um, the helicopter itself. That, that scene looks cool, too. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this evening's stream. I want to thank all of you for hanging out with me, especially Wing Chun for uh, for some firsthand um, Ultima 5 knowledge. Picard, thank you for being here. Thanks, as always, Pix, for keeping the uh, wielding the, the mod hammer, the sword of Damocles. Barkbit, thanks for being here. I know it's late for you guys. Uh, we will be large and in charge on Friday when we talk about um, this game, uh, Desert Strike. So, I'll see you guys later. Adios.